Gary Leanne Ridgway, born February 18, 1949, is an American serial killer known as the Green River Killer. He was initially convicted of 48 separate murders and later confessed to nearly twice that number. As part of his plea bargain, an additional conviction was added, bringing the total number of convictions to 49 making him the most prolific American serial killer in history according to confirmed murders. He murdered numerous women and girls in Washington state during the 1980s and 1990s. Most of his victims were alleged to be prostitutes and other women in vulnerable situations, including underage runaways. The press gave him his nickname after the first five victims were found in the Green River before his identity was known. He strangled the women, usually by hand but sometimes using ligatures. After strangling them, he would dump their bodies in forested and overgrown areas in King County, often returning to the dead bodies to have sexual intercourse with them. On November 30, 2001, as he was leaving the Kenworth Truck Factory where he worked in Renton, Washington, he was arrested for the murders of four women whose cases were linked to him through DNA evidence. As part of a plea bargain wherein he agreed to disclose the locations of still missing women, he was spared the death penalty and received a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Childhood Gary Leon Ridgway was born on February 18, 1949, in Salt Lake City, Utah. He was the second of Mary and Thomas Ridgway's three sons. His home life was somewhat troubled. Relatives have described his mother as domineering and have said that young Ridgway witnessed more than one violent argument between his parents. His father was a bus driver who would often complain about the presence of prostitutes. Adult Life Ridgway graduated from Taiyi High School at age 20 in 1969 and married his 19-year-old high school girlfriend Claudia Craig. He joined the Navy. When questioned about Ridgway after his arrest, friends and family described him as friendly but strange. His first two marriages resulted in divorce because of infidelities by both partners. His second wife, Marcia Winslow, claimed that he had placed her in a chokehold. According to women in his life, Ridgway had an insatiable sexual appetite. His three ex-wives and several ex-girlfriends reported that Ridgway demanded sex from them several times a day. Murders Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Ridgway is believed to have murdered at least 71 women. According to Ridgway, in an interview with Sheriff Reichert in 2001, near Seattle and Tacoma, Washington, his court statements later reported that he had killed so many, he lost count. A majority of the murders occurred between 1982 and 1984. The victims were believed to be either prostitutes or runaways picked up along Pacific Highway, South, International Boulevard, 99, whom he strangled. Most of their bodies were dumped in wooded areas around the Green River, except for two confirmed and another two suspected victims found in the Portland, Oregon area. The bodies were often left in clusters, sometimes posed, usually nude. He would sometimes return to the victims' bodies and have sexual intercourse with them, because most of the bodies were not discovered until only the skeletons remained. Three victims are still unidentified. Ridgway occasionally contaminated the dump sites with gum, cigarettes, and written materials belonging to others, and he even transported a few victims' remains across state lines into Oregon to confuse the police. Ridgway began each murder by picking up a woman, usually a prostitute. He sometimes showed the woman a picture of his son to trick her into trusting him. After raping her, Ridgway strangled her from behind. He initially strangled them manually. However, many victims inflicted wounds and bruises on his arm while trying to defend themselves. Concerned these wounds and bruises would draw attention, Ridgway began using ligatures to strangle his victims. He killed most victims in his home, his truck, or a secluded area. 
Ridgway was arrested in 1982 and 2001 on charges related to prostitution. He became a suspect in 1983 in the Green River killings. In 1984, Ridgway took and passed a polygraph test. Quality control protocols later developed in the FBI after careful review determined that Ridgway actually failed his polygraph test. And on April 7, 1987, police took hair and saliva samples from Ridgway. Around 1985, Ridgway began dating Judith Mawson, who became his third wife in 1988. Mawson claimed in a 2010 television interview that when she moved into his house while they were dating, there was no carpet. Detectives later told her he had probably wrapped a body in the carpet. Author Penny Moore had interviewed Ridgway in prison, and he said while he was in the relationship with Mawson his kill rate went down, and he truly loved her. The samples collected in 1987 were later subjected to a DNA analysis, providing the evidence for his arrest warrant. On November 30, 2001, Ridgway was at the Kenworth Truck Factory, where he worked as a spray painter. When police arrived to arrest him, Ridgway was arrested on suspicion of murdering four women nearly 20 years after first being identified as a potential suspect. When DNA evidence conclusively linked semen left in the victims to the saliva swab taken by the police, the four victims named in the original indictment were Marcia Chapman, Opal Mills, Cynthia Hines, and Caroline Christensen. Three more victims, Wendy Caulfield, Deborah Bonner, and Deborah Estes, were added to the indictment after a forensic scientist identified microscopic spray paint spheres as a specific brand and composition of paint used at the Kenworth factory during the specific time frame when these victims were killed. Plea Bargain, Confessions, Sentencing Early in August 2003, Seattle Television News reported that Ridgway had been moved from a maximum security cell at King County Jail to an Airway Heights minimum medium security level tank. Other news reports stated that his lawyers, led by Anthony Savage, were closing a plea bargain that would spare him the death penalty in return for his confession to a number of the Green River murders. On November 5, 2003, Ridgway entered a guilty plea to 48 charges of aggravated first-degree murder as part of a plea. Bergen, agreed to in June, that would spare him execution in exchange for his cooperation in locating the remains of his victims and providing other details. In his statement accompanying his guilty plea, Ridgway explained that all of his victims had been killed inside King County, Washington and that he had transported and dumped the remains of the two women near Portland to confuse the police. We could have gone forward with seven counts, but that is all we could have ever hoped to solve. At the end of that trial, whatever the outcome, there would have been lingering doubts about the rest of these crimes. This agreement was the avenue to the truth, and in the end, the search for the truth is still why we have a criminal justice system. Gary Ridgway does not deserve our mercy. He does not deserve to live. The mercy provided by today's resolution is directed not at Ridgway, but toward the families who have suffered so much. On December 18, 2003, King County Superior Court Judge Richard Jones sentenced Ridgway to 48 life sentences with no possibility of parole and one life sentence to be served consecutively. He was also sentenced to an additional 10 years for tampering with evidence for each of the 48 victims, adding 480 years to his 48 life sentences. Ridgway led prosecutors to three bodies in 2003. On August 16 of that year, the remains of a 16-year-old girl found near Enumclaw, Claw, Washington, 50 feet from State Route 410 were pronounced as belonging to Pam Ianette Avent, who had been believed to be a victim of the Green River Killer. The remains of Marie Malvar and April Buttram were found in September. On November 23, 2005, 
The Associated Press reported that a weekend hiker found the skull of one of the 48 women Ridgeway admitted murdering in his 2003 plea bargain with King County prosecutors. The skull of Tracy Winston, who was 19 when she disappeared from Northgate Mall on September 12, 1983, was found on November 20, 2005 by a man hiking in a wooded area near Highway 18 near Issaquah, southeast of Seattle. Ridgeway confessed to more confirmed murders than any other American serial killer. Over a period of five months of police and prosecutor interviews, he confessed to 48 murders, 42 of which were on the police's list of probable Green River killer victims. Ridgeway talked to and tried to make his victims comfortable before he committed the murders. In his own words, I would talk to her and get her mind off of the sex, anything she was nervous about, and think, you know, she thinks, oh, this guy cares, which I didn't, I just want to, er, get her in the vehicle and eventually kill her. Quote. Life Imprisonment Ridgway was placed in solitary confinement at Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla in January 2004. Victims Before Ridgway's confession, authorities had attributed 49 murders to the Green River Killer. Confirmed. At the time of his December 18, 2003 sentencing, authorities had been able to find at least 48 sets of remains, including victims not originally attributed to the Green River Killer. Ridgway was sentenced for the deaths of each of these 48 victims. Jane Doe B-10, left, and Jane Doe B-17 are two of three unidentified victims of Ridgway. Their faces were reconstructed digitally to assist in their identification. Before Ridgway's confession, authorities had not attributed to the Green River Killer the deaths of victims Rule, Barjack, Hayes, Reeves, Yellow Robe and Victim 49. Ridgway's confession and directions led police search crews to find the bodies of Avant, Buttram, and Malvar in August and September 2003. On Tuesday, December 21, 2010, hikers near the West Valley Highway in Auburn, Wa found a skull in the vicinity of where Marie Malvar's remains were found in 2003. The skull was identified as belonging to Rebecca, Becky, Marrero, who was last seen leaving the Western Six Motel at South 168th Street and Pacific Highway South on December 3, 1982. The King County prosecutor confirmed that Ridgway would be formally charged with her murder on February 11, 2011. The remains of Tracy Winston were found, without a skull, in Kent's Cottonwood Grove Park in March 1986. Winston's skull was found in November 2005 near Tiger Mountain, miles away from the discovery site of the rest of her body. Police assume someone carried it to the location. Sandra Denise Major was not identified until June 2012. A family member asked the King County Sheriff to investigate after seeing a TV movie about Ridgeway. DNA confirmed Major's identity. Jane Doe B-10, discovered on March 21, 1984, is currently unidentified. Ridgeway claimed that she was a white female in her early 20s and possibly had brown hair. Examination of the remains suggested that she was actually between 12 and 18, most likely around 15. Analysis of the victim's skeleton indicated she was probably left-handed, and had at one point in her life suffered a healed skull fracture to the left temple. Jane Doe B-17, also unidentified, was discovered on January 2, 1986. Remains that had been found in another area February 18, 1984 were later matched to this victim. Ridgway claimed responsibility for her death in 2003. Jane Doe B-20, a female between 13 and 24, was discovered in August 2003, due to the fact that the remains were partial. Her face could not be reconstructed and her race could not be determined. 
She was murdered between the 20-year span of 1973 to 1993, but is believed to have been murdered during the first decade of Ridgeway's murder spree. Task Force Victims List Ridgeway is suspected of, but not charged with, murdering the remaining six victims of the original list attributed to the Green River Killer. In each case, either Ridgeway did not confess to the victim's death, or authorities have not been able to corroborate their suspicion with reliable evidence. Seattle native Tommy Vincent, who disappeared in 1979, was later thought to be a possible victim of Ridgeway. In 1979, her body had been found stabbed and shot to death in Tiburon, California. Her remains were not identified until 2007. He did not confirm involvement in her death, which was likely caused by a different person. Ridgeway denied killing Amina Igashev. Igashev does not fit the profile of any of the victims of the Green River Killer considering her age, and she was not a prostitute or a teenage runaway. Although he has never been charged with her murder, during police interrogations in 2003, Ridgway did confess to killing Kazan Lee Woods. He stated that he strangled Lee in 1982 and left her body near a drive-in theater off the SeaTac Strip. Evidence exists to suggest that Ridgway murdered Kelly K. McGinnis. Shortly before her disappearance, McGinnis was questioned by a Port of Seattle police officer while dating Ridgway near the SeaTac Strip. Furthermore, during the summer of 2003, Ridgway led authorities to the bodies of several of his victims. One of those bodies, later identified as that of April Buttram, was initially identified by Ridgway as being that of McGinnis. According to Ridgway, he often confused McGinnis with Buttram because of their similar physiques. Ridgway is a suspect in the deaths of Angela Marie Gardner and Tammy Lyles. Their bodies were discovered within a mile of the bodies of known victims Shirley Sherell and Denise Bush. Lyles remained unidentified until 1998 and Gardner until October 2009. Suspected Ridgway has been considered a suspect in the disappearances, murders of five other women not attributed at the time to the Green River Killer. No charges have been filed. Martha Morrison disappeared from her apartment in Oregon in 1974. Her body was found along with another victim in Washington later that year. Morrison's case was speculated to have been related to the Green River killings. Her remains were identified in 2015. An unidentified black female, possibly bearing the first name Michelle, was a possible victim of Ridgeway. She has never been located or identified. Cora McGurk was the mother of National Basketball Association player Martel Webster. McGurk disappeared when her son was four years old. Ridgway was recently popular culture in documentaries and films, nonfiction. The 1984 documentary Murder No Apparent Motive, about serial killers and FBI profilers, mentioned that the then Ongoing Green River Killers murders were one of the latest examples of serial murders that go on in America without any apparent motives. The River Man is based on the true story of Ted Bundy assisting investigators trying to identify and catch the Green River Killer. It is based on the book of the same name by Robert D. Keppel, a 2006 episode of the TV series Crimes That Shook the World focuses on Gary Ridgway, played by Frank Violi. In 2008, the Lifetime Movie Network aired The Capture of the Green River Killer, a TV movie loosely based on his crimes. John Peel Meyer portrays Ridgway. In 2014, they aired a documentary called My Uncle is the Green River Killer which featured Ridgway family members. The ninth episode of the 2010 American documentary show Who the Bleep Did I Marry features his story and his third wife's side of it. In print nonfiction, Green River Serial Killer Biography of an Unsuspecting Wife by Penny Moorhead. 
telling the story of his third wife and her struggles with the truth. Defending Gary Unraveling the Mind of the Green River Killer by Mark Prothero with help from Carlton Smith Green River Killer The True Detective Story A 2011 graphic novel by Jeff Jensen and Jonathan Case Jensen's father was Tom Jensen one of the detectives who worked on the case for 20 years in print fiction. The novel River by Roderick Thorpe is subtitled, A Novel of the Green River Killings. ISBN 0449907044X. In music. The 2002 song, Deep Red Bells by Nico Case was inspired by her own life growing up as a teenager near the metropolis during the time of the murders. In 2003, Philadelphia Power Electronics duo Death Pile released G.R., a concept album about Ridgway and his murders. The 1998 song, I Wanna Know What Love Is, off the Kathleen Hanna electronic album Julie Ruin, mentions the Green River Killer and his violence against women. In television, fiction, in an episode of Everybody Hates Chris, after confronting Julius about a credit card he had been hiding from Rochelle for 15 years, she asks him if he is the Green River Killer. Quote, in a May 2013 interview, Oliver Knox, a serial killer on the science fiction show The 4400, bears a number of similarities to Gary Ridgway.
including underage runaways. The press gave him his nickname after the first five victims were found in the Green River before his identity was known. He strangled the women, usually by hand but sometimes using ligatures. After strangling them, he would dump their bodies in forested and overgrown areas in King County, often returning to the dead bodies to have sexual intercourse with them. On November 30, 2001, as he was leaving the Kenworth Truck Factory where he worked in Renton, Washington, he was arrested for the murders of four women whose cases were linked to him through DNA evidence. As part of a plea bargain wherein he agreed to disclose the locations of still missing women, he was spared the death penalty and received a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Childhood Gary Leon Ridgway was born on February 18, 1949, in Salt Lake City, Utah. He was the second of Mary and Thomas Ridgway's three sons. His home life was somewhat troubled. Relatives have described his mother as domineering and have said that young Ridgway witnessed more than one violent argument between his parents. His father was a bus driver who would often complain about the presence of prostitutes. Adult Life Ridgeway Gary Leon Ridgeway, born February 18, 1949, is an American serial killer known as the Green River Killer. He was initially convicted of 48 separate murders and later confessed to nearly twice that number. As part of his plea bargain, an additional conviction was added, bringing the total number of convictions to 49 making him the most prolific American serial killer in history according to confirmed murders. He murdered numerous women and girls in Washington state during the 1980s and 1990s. Most of his victims were alleged to be prostitutes and other women in vulnerable situations. Graduated from Taiyi High School at age 20 in 1969 and married his 19-year-old high school girlfriend Claudia Craig. He joined the Navy. When questioned about Ridgeway after his arrest, friends and family described him as friendly but strange. His first two marriages resulted in divorce because of infidelities by both partners. His second wife, Marsha Winslow, claimed that he had placed her in a chokehold. According to women in his life, Ridgeway had an insatiable sexual appetite, his three ex-wives and several ex-girlfriends reported that Ridgway demanded sex from them several times a day. Murders Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Ridgway is believed to have murdered at least 71 women, according to Ridgway. In an interview with Sheriff Reichert in 2001, near Seattle and Tacoma, Washington, his court statements later reported that he had killed so many, he lost count. A majority of the murders occurred between 1982 and 1984. The victims were believed to be either prostitutes or runaways picked up along Pacific Highway, South, International Boulevard, 99, whom he strangled. Most of their bodies were dumped in wooded areas around the Green River, except for two confirmed